So, to cut a potentially long-winded introduction short, hi, I'm Siobhan, this is Eco Dolphin. It was originally written by an Arab. I'm doing an English translation, and I've shortened it a lot because we don't want to hear 300 verses, right? <laughs> I'm pretty certain that would make more like... <laughs> Just a minute. Frank. Hanoi Godolvin, Anir Aita. Hanoi Godolvin, Shavan, Anu Kani. This is the Godolvin, Anir and his master's song. This is the Godolvin, Shavan sings it now. I Godolvin, heroes of Wales, go forth, defend your land from Sisnek dicta. Men came to Katraif. They were renowned. Wine and mead in gold cups was their drink. A year in noble ceremony spent three men and three score and three hundred, all wearing the golden torques. But of all those who charged after much reveling, only three won free through courage and strife. The warhound of Aaron, Kenneth Donalds, and myself, Drenched in blood, for the sake of the song. Splendid, the song. Underfoot for a while, my knee is stretched, my hands bound in an earthen house with an iron band around my two knees. Yet of the meat of the horn and the men of the tribe, I, a Naren, will compose, as Taliesin knows, an elaborate song more strained good Odin before dawn of the brightest day. Splendid, the song. A war game there was. Soldiers surrounding the threat made war. Bloody mock, trampled, trod on. Warriors trod on. Vengeance was meet wages for corpses, though great was the cost. Splendid the song, bright the war band that after fatal impulse filled air. Their hands satisfied the mouths of brown eagles and made feasts for beasts of prey. From another say, ruler of men, they set themselves against hostile spears. But for the threat, keen were the gold torqued men. They thrust. They slaughtered those who stood firm. Early they rode at the dawn. There was a conflict at the Aber in front of the fence. The pass and the knoll were ablaze. Like a boar, they charged the hill. Courteous, grave, savage were the dark spear shafts. Early they rose at Matins. After kindling a fire at the Aber in front of the fence, the warriors charged in a band. In the lead, leading, following, before hundreds, the first charge was as eager for the slaughter as for the drinking of wine and mead. With a fierce and impetuous stroke of the sword, how irresistible was he when he would kill the foe? Would that is equal, but Aaron is that. No power could bear the falls of war like fire that rages when killed. On Tuesday, they donned the dark armor. On Wednesday, they polished an animal armor. On Thursday, the terms were agreed upon. On Friday, fearless, they fought as one. On Saturday, carnage all around. On Sunday, crimson blades were their lot. On Monday, wasting the blood, after defeat, Igor Oven said, for Monarch's tent on his return, there came but one man in a hundred. Monarch, of the impregnable strand of Godolvin. Monarch, for him our cheeks are sad. Before the raging fire of Ivan, he turned on his side. The Ephesian men of firmness in the entrance formed a wall in the van. Vigorously, he descended upon the furious foe. He caused devastation and sustained great weight. But of Manavog's warband, there returned but a single blade, <laughs> bitter, dripping. Men launched the assault. They moved as one. Short were their lives, made drunk by pure mead. Manavog's warband, renowned in battle, for a feast of mead, they gave their lives. Karaza and Mother, Poik and Ava, Guiga, Guiga, Gwyn, and Puffon. Steel weapons Peridor, Warthor and Aven, a war band, steadfast in battle, shield shot. But though they were being slain, they stood.
exclude, not one to his own home terms. Men launched the assault. Together were they regaled that year over mead. How great was their design. How sad the tale, the insatiable theorem, the, the long How bitter their home, no, no child to cherish it. How long the grief for them and the mourning. For ardent men of wine-nourished lands, proud no of feast was fashioned. But its cost, the battle of Thrice. 